Hello friends, I am sharing you my last 15 years experience uh, how you should behave in your uh, construction industry. Like in uh, MEP section, like uh, uh, civil construction building like HVAC, plumbing, firefighting, electrical, whatever uh, job you are doing in Gulf countries or you are searching a job, you should understand some basic things uh, at uh, site. Uh, Three, four example I will give you, uh, three, four, uh, you know, details I will share with you one by one. Number one, when we are starting a work, we should have some proper documents. Unless otherwise don't work uh, at sight like a fool person. This is very important. Because once you become a fool, there is so many other fingers are there to point out to you. Uh, he is a fool. Uh, he don't know anything. He is just roaming around. Such kind of things uh, they will point out to you. In construction industry, to be frank with you, the more work you done, nobody care. This is reality. We think that we done, done more work, they, everybody will uh, respect with you. No. The perfect way how you do, that person will be highlighted. The perfect way, the systematic way. That people will become the leaders, the construction managers or any yani project managers or, or such things. Do you ever think that they have done too much work? Never. The human person, they can do that much work only in a day. But do it perfectly. To do it perfectly, there is so many, uh, you know, basic core features we need to, we need to always keep with our, you know, daily routine. This is what I am going to explain with you in this video. This is my 15 years experience in uh, MEP industry in uh, Gulf countries. So first thing is that, for example, when you are reaching a site, as an engineer or foreman or a construction man manager, whatever it is, number one, without a uh, proper approved shop drawing, do not start any work. If you start any work for emergency or somebody pressurizing you, uh, we need this work, work very urgently. But uh, if you do such works, your company, yeah, the, the person you hired you uh, for a job, they will start shouting. you. Because, for example, you uh, done a work as per your uh, you know, senior person or somebody, and uh, the shop drawing is approved in some other way. Maybe the deck size is different. Maybe the cable dress size is different. Again, you want to go to dismantle this project and, uh, you know, dismantle this installation and again you need to refix. So, who is the person who made the mistake? You make the mistake. A reason? You do the work without approved shop drawing. There are so many things is there, uh, such kind of mistakes what we are doing inside. And the person who instructed you, they will, uh, you know, change their, you know, voice. I'd never say like that. And the management, they will shout to you, how you may make, uh, wasted my labor, you wasted my money, something like that. So many things. So, uh, even whoever is uh, instructing you too much, even your construction manager or uh, project manager, without shop drawing, do not do any work. If they are forcefully saying something, tell them, give me the drawing and you sign it. This, you have a right to ask the signature from your senior person. If, if your consultant is asking you, uh, do like this, do like this, do like this. Okay, no problem, sir. I will do it. Give me in signature. Give me in uh, writing. Make it this one documentedly. Otherwise, you will be in trouble. Shop drawing, approved shop drawing from consultant is very important in construction industry. Is not very important, very, very important. This is first stage number one. Second stage, if you are installing any unapproved materials, again, you will be fired. How you can control this one? If you are a supervisor or a site engineer or something like that, you can ask your senior person simply, give me the approved material list. There is a, a separate documentation is there for material approval. The you know for drainage PVC pipe is approved, yeah, cast iron pipe is approved, whatever it is, or uh, for the you know, water supply system PPR is approved, copper pipe is approved, or what is the thickness, what is the class of the pipe? This all things is based on the you know material approval list. 
Even the material approved list, you cannot do direct installation. While reach this uh, products, you know, this approved materials to site, the consultant person, they will do the site material inspection. After site in, uh, material inspection only, you can do installation. This is important in Gulf countries. Unless otherwise, don't uh, install anything uh, if somebody is pressurizing you. For example, some other equipments they bring to. Okay, go and install in the third floor. Ask them, sir, where is approval? Where is material approval? Where is um, site approval? There should be a path. Follow that path. Don't try to over jump. If you try to, uh, you know, show your smartness at site, you yourself will be in trouble. There are so many. If you do any mistake, there are so many fingers are there to point out you. Huh, why you like that? Why you don't like that? Ah, now you are the person who done the mistake. Something like that. So this is the uh, thing you should follow while uh, you know do the material installation. Uh, the material installation. There is some. Uh, the starting also I will tell you how they are selecting the material. That also you should understand briefly, I will explain to you. For example, the site, how it is starting. There is a BOQ. There is a project specification. Based on BOQ and based on project specification. This is the first document which is issued by the client and IFC drawing. Issued for construction. This uh, issued for construction drawing. This three document basically is giving by, and there is some building permit and other things they will give, that is uh, another things. IFC drawing, issued for construction drawing, the project specification, and the BOQ. The approved BOQ. And the BOQ they will give, we will fill the BOQ and this will be the total cost and if they will return back, they will approve, approve it. Everything they will give a, as a bundle with one letter, you can start your project like that. So, this is the basic uh, documentation we are getting from the client. There is a consultant is there. The consultant, they will hand over to us these documents. Based on the, uh, these documents, the subcontractor, who is there, who is the main contractor or subcontractor, they will uh, make the, you know, material submission. Okay, based on, in the uh, uh, project specification, it is clearly mentioned the for, for the drainage pipe, uh, you can use um, class 6 or class uh, 10 pipe or something like that, and uh, PVC pipe or HDP, something like that. There is, uh, by return, you will get it. So, based on that reference, you will uh, call the, you know, uh, you know suppliers. Uh, see, this is the specification I have, uh, I need this much of quantity, quantity. So give me your uh, material submittal. In the material submittal, there are so many things there. So many things there, like, uh, you know, uh, first of all, the uh, index page, cover page, everything. And there is, you know, company specification. And uh, the, the, the manufacturer, for example, the PVC pipe company, uh, the manufacturer specification, if there is a dealer, there is a dealer profile. Uh, the company profile, not company specification, company profile. And uh, there is, uh, uh, you know, catalogs they will attach. And uh, the selected material they will highlight. And the uh, selected material, there is a separate pages there. These are the materials we selected. And there is a compliance statement. As per the um, uh, BOQ and uh, specification, what is the compliance and what we are giving. There is a uh, compliance statement is there. And there is a pipe test certificates they will attach. The previous uh, sites, the previous completed projects uh, list of, uh, list, list they will attach. And, uh, you know, there is some, they have some certifications like uh, in Gulf countries, government uh, certifications, government approval, and they have a license, a trade license copy, everything they will attach uh, with this submittal and they will uh, issue to us. They, we will, uh, you know, as a subcontractor, we will refer everything and we will hand over to. Sometimes they will give, uh, you know, documents like, a, you know, mess up and we should uh, segregate everything properly. We need to hand over to our consultant. They will give the approval for the material. Again, once we get the approval, we will bring a small quantity of material and uh, for installation. Not uh, first of all, don't bring too much quantity. This is the important thing that we need to understand. Again, uh, this material when it is reaching to site, you will uh, attach that approval copy and uh, submit again for you know site inspection. 
that material only you can install at site. This is uh, the pipes, fittings, such kind of things, supports and all. But if there is equipment, the scenario is different. Equipment in the BOQ you will not find what is, for example, AHU or for example, fire pump or for example, a booster pump. You will not find what is a head. You cannot find what is the fluoride. You cannot uh, find in the, uh, for example, um, ESP. Uh, what is the ESP you should keep up for, you know, exhaust fan or something like that. Uh, that uh, you know, there is in the HVAC, there is very important ESP calculations. This whole information you cannot find in the, in equipment, you cannot find out loads or uh, capacity in the project specification or BOQ. This, there is a, you know, a rough uh, idea they will be there, but you will not get a clarifications. This whole thing you should calculate and you should submit it for approval. For example, equipment submission is a major part in this, uh, you know, construction industry. Each and every equipment you should make, uh, you know, prepare the documentation. For example, AHU, you should measure it. What is the friction loss? What is the, you know, air flow? How many liters per uh, second uh, this each area we should get? Measure it. And, you know, cooling load calculation we will take. Take it. So, these all things we should consider. And these all uh, things, uh, it will be attached with this, you know, the, of course, you should, you should need a, a proper uh, support from this, uh, um, you know, manufacturers like AHU, exhaust fan. You, the, as a site engineer, you cannot prepare any um, material submittal for equipments, to be frank with you. You should need a, any manufacturer support for this kind of things. And whenever uh, this kind of equipments bring the, you know, manufacturer in front of you uh, to get it approved. Don't try to become more smart in this uh, case. Uh, if you're getting uh, more smart, because they are, you know, more experienced than us the manufacturers, let them put them in front of the client and get it approved. This is the easiest method of how we can grow up at site. You can take other people's help uh, in, in this regards. This is the thing. And there is some other things you should maintain at site. Uh, like as I told you uh, about the shop drawing, as I told you about the material approval. And there are some other things like method of statement. If some accident is coming or some uh, somebody fall from the you know scaffolding or something like that, there should be a legal documents. Like one is that toolbox talk, daily toolbox talk, uh, that uh, you do the you know safety instructions to the, your people, uh, such kind of things. This all things is mentioned in the method of statement. Like for example, after your work, how you are doing the cleaning. Uh, for example, scaffolding, how you are man managing. If there is no met a proper method statement, if something accident happened in your site, the site engineer or uh, the supervisors they are and the construction manager, they are responsible for this accident. And they need to face some legal uh, you know, actions from Gulf countries. This is take care. The safety is very important. So, uh, while starting the work, parallelly you submit the method of statement, how this, uh, you know, for example, PVC, high, high, uh, you know, above overhead pipe, how is installing that, like that. Approved method of statement you should have with you. That is one thing. And there is daily toolbox stock, of course, you should maintain. And the, uh, while installation, all this drawing you have, like um, approved shop drawing you have, you know, there is some so many things you have. Even approved shop drawing, there is a uh, common mistake I observed at site. The approved shop drawing, there is no much uh, coordination uh, with other services. If, for example, if we are an MEP contractor, we uh, we are, uh, you know, responsible for detecting water supply, uh, we are, uh, chilled water supply, everything, yeah, whatever it is. So one other is clashing again and again in multiple locations. That will be a huge uh, you know, money loss, you know, remove and refix, something like that. And for example, fault ceiling people, they are coming, our pipe is and our service is below the you know, fault ceiling level. Again, uh, the people, they are going to blame us. 
this is a common fact what we are facing inside. For example, uh, there is no proper signage or something like that. I will come to that point again and again. Whenever you are installing the site, pressurize your people, pressurize your seniors by mail or by writing. Sir, we don't have, by mail, if you say something by verbally to your construction manager or project manager, they will not listen to you. Uh, but whatever you do, do it officially. Do it officially. This is the common uh, philosophy what we need to understand at the construction industries. Do it officially. Like, for example, if you, if you are not getting the, the uh, any coordination drawing. Coordination drawing, what is that? Once you get all the you know shop drawing approval, all this you know multiple services you will combine with one drawing, including uh, fall ceiling drawing, and uh, there is structural drawing. You should compare everything, then you will get an output. So you can understand there uh, which are the services uh, clashing each other. This is what you are going to get. So uh, once you get this um, uh, you know coordination drawing approval, you will be you know very safe. Because uh, to uh, examine and, uh, you know, figure out uh, what are the services clashing in the coordination drawing in the AutoCAD. If it is, you know, rivet or something like that, there is an option, is there is some tools are there uh, to figure out uh, which are the services uh, clashing. So this is what we need to, um, you know, uh, understand first of all. Uh, if the service is below the ceiling or uh, it is clashing where somewhere, if we are taking in the slope, whether it will reach the end point or something like that. If there is, it will. If there is a duct is passing, whether it will clash or no. In such case, uh, area, you can stop that particular area work or maybe something like that. If it is an electrical work, you can maybe the cable tray work you are fixing. You can maybe make it uh, make it a, a jump or something like that. You can make it. In the drainage system is very difficult because there is a drainage system, there is a slope. So uh, consider this all, uh, you know, uh, services um, while uh, installing at site. That is very important. So if and once you uh, install the service, parallelly take, you know, uh, I, uh, inspection, ITR, whatever it is, uh, you know, installation inspection. Uh, installation inspection is very important. Once you have done the ins uh, ins installation inspection only, you will get the payment from the client. This is one important. And in brief, all these things, if you uh, install any wrong material at site uh, and the client is remo uh, say, okay, remove it, refix it. So you will lose the money. If you install the, you know, any uh, pipes or fittings uh, at you know, a site uh, without approved a shop drawing and the client is giving, change it, you will lose the money. If you bring any equipments without approved material submittal, you will lose the money. And uh, if you install any services without coordination with other services, again, we need to remove and refix, you will lose the money. So, these all things consider. And in the site, uh, the person who is become more, uh, you know, uh, f more famous or more, uh, you know, technically good means the person who is following all this, uh, you know, uh, you know, all this uh, philosophy at sight. This is very important. For example, if you are not following these rules and regulations, whatever you job do morning till evening and you made a three or two or one foolish mistake at sight, all people will, oh, that man, I'm mad with him. This is what they are going to say you. Really, this is what they are going to In front of you, uh, they will not uh, say you, but in uh, the back, back end, there is some other talks are there. Because in construction industry, there is so much, too much time, you know, uh, for these managers and all, you know, what is going on. So, uh, take care about these things. Uh, your friends also will not support you sometimes. I, this kind of issues is happening. You, your high level management is standing and your friend is uh, staying. They will blame you. You know, all together they will blame you. Ah, he made this mistake. But uh, they, you, they will forget everything, whatever you made good. This is what you need to understand, uh, first of all, be, before going to uh, construction industry. So, do you have any uh, doubts or clarifications or something like that for uh, related to MEP? You can comment on me. I will make on video. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.